Hello and welcome to another video review, this time about the hunting rifle scope from GPO, the Spectra 6X with a magnification uh, from 1.5 to 9 by 32. GPO or German Precision Optics was founded in 2015, uh, which means it is a very young company. But GPO was founded by former executives from some of the most renowned European optics manufacturing companies, uh, which means that they started the company with a lot of experience. The HQ uh, of GPO is in the south of Germany, near München, and GPO offers a wide range of sports optics from low priced entry level optics all the way to high-end optics for police and law enforcement. The Spectra 6X series of rifle scopes uh, consists of hunting and tactical rifle scopes, all with a 6x zoom factor magnification, uh, but they come in, in uh, different turrets, capped for the hunting version and tactical turrets for the tactical uh, rifle scopes and the tactical rifle scopes have a first focal plane reticle and hunting uh, rifle scopes come with a second focal plane uh, reticle. Uh, now the scope uh, I have here is the Spectra 6X with a magnification 1.5 to 9 and it has a 32 millimeters objective lens and I have to say this is a very specific uh, mag magnification and um, objective diameter uh, which makes the scope uh, in my opinion perfect for uh, stalking and also mountain hunting because of the very uh, lightweight construction uh, but because it has 1.5 times magnification uh, you can use this scope also for uh, driven hunting uh, it is not perfect for driven hunting but uh, it is still easily doable in my opinion this scope was introduced in 2020 at EVA uh, in Nuremberg and if we go to the build properties the scope uh, features a European style eyepiece so only this part here uh, rotates and it feels very very smooth uh, but also quite stiff, which is in my opinion perfect, because then you cannot move this adjustment accidentally when, you're, uh, when you go hunting. Uh, then the eyepiece is also rubberized. This is also the only part on the entire scope which has uh, rubber uh, on it. If we go further, the magnification ring has really nice uh, texture so you have a really grippy surface uh, and with the scope comes also the uh, throw lever so you have even better uh, better grip and you can faster change the magnification if you need to uh, then the main tube diameter of this scope is 30 millimeters it comes with a fixed parallax of in 100 meters, capped turrets and the objective diameter, uh, outer objective diameter is 39.3 millimeters. Uh, and because of that, I think this scope is also perfectly suitable for night vision or thermal clip on devices. Um, all in all, the scope is completely made out of metal. Um, as I said, only rubberized part on the ocular uh, and other than that there are no plastic parts, even the caps on the turrets are also made uh, from metal or, or, or aluminum. The scope is shockproof for all the popular hunting calibers, uh, included magnum uh, calibers. Uh, it is filled with uh, nitrogen. So you will get no internal fogging even if you use the scope in very cold environment. The length of the scope is 340 millimeters if the ocular is 
in the inside uh, position and 350 millimeters if you uh, screw it all the way out. The weight of this rifle scope is 550 grams. Even though GPO states uh, on their website that it is under 500 grams, uh, but I measured the weight and it is uh, almost exactly 550 grams. Uh, it is not way off, but still uh, 50 grams. The scope uh, comes only with uh, with the 30 millimeters main tube, so there is no option with a mounting rail available. And the price point of this rifle scope is for 749 euros, so it is a very affordable rifle scope. And I think you really get a lot uh, of of uh, options and really great uh, quality of uh, rifle scope for a really reasonable price. Um, now where the scope it is made, uh, it's not specified by GPO, uh, but I do think it is made in uh, Asia, like many companies uh, do this. Also some uh, very much well-known uh, companies, European companies. Uh, but the only part is that what we can see is that they are designed in Germany uh, by German Precision Optics. Now the warranty of this uh, rifle scope is 10 years uh, and on the electronics or illumination it is uh, 2 years. The reticle in this rifle scope is positioned in the second focal plane so it stays the same through the entire uh, magnification range. Uh, there's only one reticle available currently, which is the G4i or German 4, uh, which is in Europe the most used uh, reticle uh, for hunting purposes. Uh, the reticle has also uh, illumination, which is, in my opinion, perfect. Uh, the illumination is made from optical fiber so you have a really really great uh, illumination and you can precisely adjust uh, adjust the intensity of uh, the illumination the illumination is very bright so you can uh, easily use it on a very bright sunny day even if you look at the, in a, at a white target and the illumination features a three hours uh, auto turn off feature so when you make your last adjustments, after three hours the scope uh, shuts the illumination off to save the battery life. Now the illumination can be controlled on this turret here. And you have all in all eight uh, intensity settings, but there are no off positions in between. So it is a stepless design. The more you go, up towards the number eight, the stronger the illumination gets. Uh, I have to say the illumination is very, very precisely adjustable. Uh, so even when you make small adjustments, you'll easily see uh, the difference, um, but not drastically. So uh, really perfectly designed in my opinion. Then the battery uh, is under this cap here and for the operation you need only one CR2032 battery. Okay, now if we go to the turrets, these are capped with uh, caps made of aluminum. So you have a really quality feel when you take the scope in the hand and you see that the, the caps are not made of plastic, so really nice. And under these caps are great, really great uh, turrets for the adjustment of the reticle. Now the clicks on these turrets are in milliradian, so one click is exactly one centimeter at 100 meters. And in one revolution of the turret, you have exactly six mil of travel or a travel 
or 60 centimeters. Uh, the internal elevation uh, of the scope is 40 mil, but what I tried this even more, uh, it's more than 50, uh, I think. And with so much elevation, it is, uh, yeah, it is normally not needed, uh, even if you uh, shoot at very, very long distances. The clicks are in clockwise position, like uh, most of the European uh, companies have. And maybe you can hear the clicks. They are really nice audible and very tactile. So you can immediately uh, hear and feel every single click. So the clicks, in my opinion, are just perfect for a hunting scope. The zeroing of this turret is also very, very easy. When you're on the range and you make your adjustment, uh, so let's say it is now the 5, you do, then just have to uh, hold the lower side of the turret and with the other finger you can unscrew the upper part of the scope like this and then you can immediately adjust the turret so that the zero is facing forward. Uh, like this you can just put back on the upper part of the turret and screw it back in so it is uh, tightened. Uh, so like this the turret is also already zeroed in and what I really like is that you don't need any special tools uh, for zeroing of the turret. So you can do it uh, on the range without the need to think you have to bring some tools with on the range. Uh, the, uh, the windage turret, uh, the zeroing is completely the same, so you also have to unscrew the upper part. And in one revolution of the windage turret is exactly the same, 6 milliradian of travel. But what is different, that you have marks in both directions. Uh, for left or right uh, corrections and uh, it goes up to 3 and uh, then you know you have to go back to the 0 if you make some corrections. The, uh, the windage turret uh, has no uh, stop if you go further so it is also a multi-turn turret uh, but for a hunting scope, uh, this is perfectly accept acceptable. You don't need to uh, stop when you make one revolution of the turret. Um, the same is with the elevation turret. It does not feature a zero stop uh, and it has no turn indicator. But again, for a hunting rifle scope, it is uh, perfectly fine. Uh, okay. Now, if we go to the optical uh, uh, specifications, the magnification goes from 1.5 to 9, and you can go make the change in exactly 180 degree turn. The lens diameter is 32 millimeters, so this scope is not designed for low light conditions. Uh, only for daytime use. Uh, that's why I think it's perfectly for uh, stalking or mountain hunting. Uh, the parallax is at 100 meters. Uh, it has a six times zoom factor magnification and it has a really big field of view. At 1.5 times magnification it's 28 meters at 100 meters and on the biggest magnification at nine times it's 4.6 meters at 100 meters. The scope has no tunneling effect and the light transmission uh, through the scope is uh, 90%. Now the eye relief, so the distance to your eyes is 92, uh, 97 millimeters. Uh, so 
it's quite a lot and because of that it is perfectly suitable also for strong recoiling uh, rifles uh, so you are still safe behind the scope and the eye relief is quite forgiving in my opinion so you re can really move further to the scope or away from the scope and you still have a, a really clear picture and uh, now for the eye box so how much you can move behind the scope that you have a clear picture i have to say at 1.5 times magnification it's very forgiving you can really move uh, quite a lot uh, behind the scope and at nine times magnification it's um, far less but it is still quite good in my opinion okay now for the image quality uh, i think the image quality itself is very very good especially if you consider the price of 749 euros uh, the central part of the image has uh, really really nice uh, image uh, quality uh, also clarity and resolution are just great uh, in my opinion uh, but on the edge of the image uh, the ima it is not as sharp you can immediately uh, see a difference from the central part to the edge again the edge quality is not bad but you can see a difference it is a little bit uh, blurrier on the edge um, so far uh, but the blurry part is just really uh, outside on the edge and it does not go further far into the center of the image uh, or how should i say okay now what do you get in the box with the rifle scope? First of all, uh, the scope comes with bikini style uh, uh, lens covers. Then you get a warranty card. Then all the specifications and how to use the scope. Then a cleaning cloth. And technical information about the scope with all the dimensions and the reticles uh, which are available also for other Spectra rifle scopes and uh, also the dimensions uh, uh, inside the reticle. Then lastly also a uh, uh, Torx wrench for the for the uh, throw lever if you want to uh, mount it or uh, disassemble it. Okay, now for a short summary. First of all, the positives. Uh, what I like about the scope is optical properties. Even though the image on the edge is not as clear as in the center, the overall image quality is still uh, very very good uh, again especially if you consider the price then the build quality everything on the scope is very well made especially if you consider that the scope comes with uh, metal uh, caps and no rubber uh, no plastic parts anywhere on the scope then the weight uh, with 550 grams the scope is very lightweight so perfectly suitable for light weight, lightweight hunting rifles. Then the turrets for hunting. These are perfect turrets in my opinion. I really like uh, such turrets, especially because you can zero in without any tools and also uh, reset them easily. Uh, then the illumination, as I said, it is perfect, especially with the fiber optic it is very very bright you can immediately see uh, the illumination when you look uh, through the scope and lastly the price with 749 euros it is not an expensive rifle scope and it features a lot uh, for this price now where do i see room for improvements first of all in the optical properties the edge sharpness 
uh, in my opinion, it's not a big deal, but a clear image from edge to edge, in my opinion, would be even better, would be perfect. And the second thing is the dimension with 335 millimeters. For such a magnification, I think the scope is very, very long. Uh, if the objective would start here uh, and go up to here, uh, let's say, it would be a much, uh, much shorter rifle scope and much easier to use uh, with a clip-on device or a night vision clip-on device. Um, but other than that, I don't have anything uh, else to say. Now for the competition. Uh, there is also, I think, no competition because it is a very specific rifle scope with a specific magnification and objective diameter because most of other uh, rifle scope manufacturers come with a bigger objective lens. Uh, but with a bigger objective lens you, uh, you uh, gain uh, additional weight with the scope. Okay, I hope I covered everything you, uh, you need to know about the scope. Uh, if you have any additional questions, please click the link below. And if you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.